In this next demonstration, we are going to look at a grams to grams stoichiometry problem using the same equation as before. Um, acetylene gas is produced by adding water to calcium carbide in the following equation. Um, how many grams of acetylene are produced by adding water to 5 grams of calcium carbide? So we're going to start with the given and the unknown. 5 grams calcium carbide. And how many grams of C2H2, which is acetylene gas, are produced? So you always want to start with the given. This is going to be a three-step problem. And in the first step, we'll have to convert from grams of calcium carbide to moles of calcium carbide. Calcium carbide. Grams of calcium carbide. And the molar mass of calcium carbide will have to be used looking at the periodic table. If you look at the periodic table, you found that, find that calcium is 40.08 grams per mole. And then carbon, there are two of those, times 12, 24. And if you add those together, it is 64.08. And that's going to go on the bottom to one mole. And then the second step, grams cancels. You're going to have to use the mole to mole ratio. Mole of the given on the bottom <coughs> to mole of the unknown on the top. And that's C2H2. And on the bottom, we're going to have one mole. If there's nothing in front of it, it's a one. And on the top, we're going to have, again, if there's nothing in front of it, a 1. Those moles cancel. And if I asked how many moles of acetylene gas would be produced, I would stop there. But I asked how many grams. So I've got to convert from moles of acetylene gas to grams using, once again, the molar, molar mass, but in this case, of acetylene grams. So I'm going to have 1 mole of C2H2 to, I've got to figure out the molar mass, so there's 2 times 12 for carbon, that's 24, and hydrogen is 2 times 1.01, so that's 26.02 grams to 1 mole of C2H2. So I'm going to multiply everything on the top. So I'm going to take 5 times 26.02 equals, and then I'm going to divide it by everything on the bottom. In this case, it's just 64.08. And I have 2.03 grams of C2H2, which is acetylene gas that is produced. So big picture, if I start off with 5 grams of calcium carbide, then I can produce with unlimited amount of water or water in excess, assuming that I have more than water than I need, I will produce 2.03 grams of acetylene gas.